this was literally no good. Welcome back to the channel. And today is the day that the rustic box is going to get some love. We're gonna change the alternator out so that the battery can hold the charge. So here we go. We're gonna test the alternator just to be sure it's the alternator. I'm almost certain it is. We're gonna test it out. So I'm gonna jump it again. <laughs> and the jump box is low. <laughs> oh, cool. blind. Embarrassing. <laughs> Sometimes you have to let it set and charge your battery for like 30 seconds. But it also has this function where you can press this button here. It'll automatically give it all the 2000 amps. So you can just straight jump it, right? So I got it off Amazon. But you can also order it from their website as well. All this is gonna look totally different. We're back at the house. And so the Rusty Fox is gonna get some love today. Um, as you guys saw earlier, the car would not start. So we're gonna change, start by switching out the alternator. I have a polished one. I have all new bracketry that's gonna go on. We're gonna reroute this hose. And the shop didn't repair the leak from the thermostat housing. So be taking that off, replace the whole housing, might as well. And I'll show you the, uh, the gasket that I got. So hopefully the gasket will work. But anyway, so that's what's on the agenda today. hose is going to have to be cut and trimmed. On YouTube, we just paused it because we got some work, okay? We just paused it. We we're doing some work, but we're back now. Should open all this up and look better. 
This is a pain in the butt right here. It's me. It's me. Both in there. Of course, man, how can I get in? Combination to get this off. It's killing me, bro. We got big hands, so we're gonna get this off. Look at my eyes. You guys want to do something? You guys. That's what I thought. This would be the temperature sensor for the gauge that's inside the car. So I'm removing it from the thermostat housing so that I can change the thermostat housing. And it's a pain in the butt. I hope that's where that was leaking from. They really screwed this up. Bro. Look at the bare wires. That's bare wire. They didn't even do that right. Unbelievable. So what happens when you don't have a reputable shop work on your car and they keep it for all these years enough to run you crazy that's what you call shoddy work what i'm going to do right now is go ahead and either use black tape or i'll figure it out one way or the other but before i put it back on it's got to be fixed i'm working what are you doing i wish i was doing nothing So I pulled this off, thermostat housing, and look, look at the thermostat needle. That should not be like that. That needle should be underneath there in that little recessed area right there. That's what the other shop did. I had the car for two years. That needle right here should be underneath there. And see, look at all the poor gasket work. The other thermostat's at the other place, and I'll show you the way it should look. So we've been looking, 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 looking. Found the bracket I need for the alternator. Found this pipe here. But the one thing I need is the thermostat. Can't seem to find the thermostat that I bought from Amazon. So head back to the house. Success. Found it. You see how this needle is sticking out to the side? This is how a thermostat should look. The needles inside, amazing. This was literally no good. Anyway, time to stop complaining and to get to work. So I cleaned this mating surface off and scraped off the old gasket maker and all that stuff. Hopefully that'll stop the leak unless, I don't know. Uh, hopefully it's not leaking from here. But anyway, we'll find out. They went way crazy with the gasket maker here too, you can tell. Oh man. One day I may have to just take the whole cover off and redo everything, but I'm not gonna worry about it right now. So here's the gasket I'm gonna use instead of a paper gasket. I hear that these are very reliable. There's the part number, reusable water gasket. Install dry, no gasket sealer required. I was thinking about putting a thin layer, a very thin layer, but I don't know. We'll see. I'm gonna stab myself first. So here's the gasket that is normally used compared to that gasket. One's paper, one's not. Ah, come on, bro. Get on there. So that goes like that. Typically. I'm leaving this open because the sensor has a screw in here. So it'll go like that. Alright, so I'm gonna give it a shot with no gasket maker. The hard part is gonna be putting the alternator back in. Because that's gonna be like putting the puzzle together. Because it has to make up for the for the bracket that's missing. think oh this will be simple 
turn this into something else. mind cats but dude you are all up in my way Yes, I consult other YouTube videos. I'm putting on this Altered Fox alternator bracket. It's like a puzzle, so I consulted another YouTube channel. Oh, uh, I should've put that on first. Uh, I should've put that on first. This is a fuse kit. Normally this is to stop your stereo from humming on the power. Inside here is a fuse. So if there's like a power surge from this, then it'll pop the fuse. I'm taking my stereo out of here. So technically I don't need it, but I mean, maybe I should just do it the right way. This is too short, right? So, or a spacer. And the other one I have is too long. So I'm gonna see if these other little ones that they gave me will compensate. Oh, it's gonna do me like that. Seriously, I'm not supposed to get this on. Ingenuity, girl. The fan is making it go crooked. That's ridiculous, bro. Honestly, that is stupid. The fan's in the way. You live, the fan is in the way. I can't get it in there. Stupid. Fan. It's in the way. Unbelievable. The fan itself is in the way. I can't get it to go. I didn't want to have to move this stupid fan. Gosh, man. Take some of these bolts off so I can get this fan out. Ridiculous. If you don't stop. Oh my goodness. Hey, okay. Hey. No thanks, I don't want to stand right there. There's a spider. That right there? Kill it! Huh? The spider's outside. I know. Isn't that hurting nobody? Thanks.